Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah HaKodash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Honor, salutations, and blessings to the men that are preaching the gospel of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity, diligence, and truth. And peace, grace, and blessings be upon the house of David, which is the elect men, women, and children. So I just want to touch on this article uh, real quick. Um, as it reads, next few years, years will determine future of world order. All right, says Biden, which uh, this came out today. It's coming from Russia today. It came out uh, today, which is November the 3rd, 2023. And um, as we, you know, read, you know, this article, as I read this article, um, it, it, it gave me the, um, you know, the insight of the, of the, the heart being deceived. All right, Esau's heart being deceived because the things that he is speaking, all right, which which he said, and it's not even just him, but it's also um, his uh, counterpart as well. All right, being the Russians, um, they both are vying uh, for a, a new world order, wherein they are the ones that are you know at the at the head of it. Um, however, according to prophecy. All right. According to the purpose of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, um, <laughs> after Babylon the Great, all right, which is America, um, you know, is taken out of power, comes the kingdom of heaven. All right. That that is that is the 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 um, determination of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. But it's um, you know, it's uh, interesting enough that we are in a time where. The kings of the earth are in a mind where there needs, uh, you know, they're seeing at the end of this current order, this end of this current uh, system is at hand. All right. And as the scripture says in the book of Psalms, you know, the heart, you know, uh, um, is fully said. Uh, they, they, they believe that their houses shall dwell, you know, forever. OK, uh, roughly paraphrasing, I believe it's uh, Psalms, the 47th chapter. But let's read this. It says the U.S. president previously admitted that the post World War II system had, quote, run out of steam. And that is, you know, something that according to history, a, a world order all right, or a system is, is typically set up by way of uh, war. All right. That's why, you know, even in Ecclesiastes, it says there is a time of war and there's a time of peace in order to get the peace. You have to have the war first. You have to have, you know, a, a clash of, you know, uh, kingdoms and whoever wins that, uh, you know, that 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 uh, war ends up being the the new ruling um, authority, you know, in the earth. So him saying this is an indicator, you know, is, is him saying without actually saying it that we're at we're at the precipice of a new global uh, war. All right. Which will be. World War Three, okay, which that war will be a war that brings in um, nuclear war, all right, as the scripture says, um, uh, Armageddon, all right, Armageddon, which is the valley of, uh, of, you know, troops or the amount of troops. And all in all, when that war takes place, that is the the time that Yahweh Shai will uh, make his appearance as well, all right, because as it says in the book of Ecclesiastes, the, you know, second Ezra the uh 13th chapter uh second ezra chapter 13 verse um let's go to verse 29 it says behold the days come when the most high will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth and the, the we are in those days right now all right because the first way that the uh elect are being delivered is you know by being uh renewed all right is by getting this word is by um repenting and you know uh, uh, waking up all right as it says in the book of uh, micah 2 and 10 arise ye and depart for this is not your rest see we we have uh been delivered from the mind and the spirit and the vibration of babylon all right through uh uh you know uh the the teaching all right, through the truth, through the gospel of Yahweh Shah. So this is the time where the Lord has begun to deliver them that are upon the earth. And, you know, that is going to uh, fully uh, be manifested 
through the physical deliverance out of uh, Babylon the Great and the four corners, you know, of the earth where the elect are. Verse 30, it says, and he shall overcome and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. Okay? So this uh, um, time period that we're in is is going to you know uh, uh, accumulate into a uh, world war where you're going to have people fighting all across the world. All right? And you're seeing the, the sides being taken. As we, uh, you know, in real time right now, but the last part, it says one, one realm against another, which is the realm of the physical, all right, or the realm of this earth, um, with Yahweh Shai coming to this earth and with the host of the heavenly, you know, uh, armies, right? The, his armies and them fighting him being the, the, the head of that and fighting against the, the, um, armies of this world. Verse 32, it says, and at that time shall be in the time shall be when these things shall come to pass and the signs shall happen, which I have showed thee before. And then shall my son be declared whom thou sawest as a man ascending. OK, and, and now who is that? Yahweh shot. All right. So as he says here, the post World War Two system had run out of steam and that only happened. You know, World War II only happened about, what, around 75 years ago, more or less? All right? It hasn't been that long ago, which is why the scripture says that the second woe was passed and the third woe cometh quickly. Right? So let's read it. It says, the world is at a crossroads and the next few years will determine its fate for several generations to come. U.S. Pri uh, President Joe Biden has claimed in once again, it's not going to be for, I mean, it, several generations uh, really means everlasting generations. Because right? once again, see, they, they think that their houses are going to continue forever. So they think that there's just going to be a cycle of them just continuously or continually ruling, them having to, you know, do things and uh, uh, create a new system now. All right. Everything moves at the... Uh, a point in time and at the order of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which he gave his servants, the prophets, the visions of the kingdoms, all right, of this world, all right, the heathenistic rulerships, which we'll, you know, also get in the book of Daniel. See? So it says his prediction comes amid Washington's standoff, a Washington standoff with Russia over Ukraine and his country's increasingly strained relations with China. Speaking ahead of a meeting with Chilean President Gabriel Boric. On Thursday, Biden stated that there comes a time, maybe every six to eight generation, where the world changes in a very short time. <laughs> okay, so you know it's 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 the, the 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 vibration is there. The end is manifest, as it says in Second Edges, the ninth chapter. Okay, it, it's everybody sees that the end of this current system, the end of this current age. The end of how things are currently working geopolitically, geoeconomically is is run its course to the point where you got the kings, the heads of of these nations saying that. And when you see something, when it's when a, a, a current system is at an end, what what happened? War happens because other countries, other kingdoms now want to vie for the position of power. So it says the U.S. leader further claimed that what happens in the next two, three years are going to determine what the world looks like for the next five or six decades. And <laughs> that is that is what what is what's going to happen within the next two or three years, Lord willing. Right. But in, in the way things are are moving quickly, the way things are happening, uh, uh, the, these end time prophecies are coming to pass, um, you know, at a rapid speed. It could be within, you know, uh less than the next two years honestly right but let's even say if it was two or three years that time is can go about like that remember three two or three years ago we was in the you know we was already in the emic right but the lord said he was going to speed up the days and he also said he was going to shorten the days pray for fewer days right because if he didn't shorten the days there would be no flesh uh saved 
As Paul said, now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. So if the mindset of the, the kings of the earth, all right, the rulers of these different kingdoms are in this, you know, uh, mind of a hey, next two or three years is going to greatly shift and change the way that, uh, uh, you know, the way that the world looks, then ultimately we know that we are at the end, right? As it says in the book of, um, uh, well, let me get that real quick. Actually, I'm going to get it here. I'll go back to Daniel. The book of Luke chapter 21. <clears throat> Luke chapter 21 verse uh, 29 it says and he spake to them a parable behold the fig tree and all the trees when they now shoot forth ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now not at hand so likewise ye when ye see these things come to pass know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand all right the kingdom of God which is the kingdom of Israel all right, which is the everlasting dominion, the everlasting kingdom, which will be given to the saints of the Most High, right, by way of Yahawashai coming and ruling, sitting upon the throne of David, all right, and that throne, that rulership, having dominion throughout the entire earth, that is what is nigh at hand, and that is the next kingdom to rule. There is no other system out uh, um, that's coming after Babylon the Great, all right? There is no, when you, when you go into prophetic, uh, the, the prophetic timeline, Babylon the Great is the last kingdom, is the last heathenistic system, is the last heathenistic rulership. You see? So this is why the scripture says, when you see these things come to pass, when you see all these signs, you know for yourselves, right, that the kingdom of God is at hand. Verse 32. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Okay. This generation is not going to pass until all these things are fulfilled. This is the generation of the end of this age. All right. Yahweh Shai said that this generation is not going to pass. So when they're speaking about. Oh, what what happens now determines the next uh, uh, five to six decades. All right. Which is, you know, uh, the next, you know, a couple of generations. What what it what does right happen right now is going to determine that. However, not to what their their mind has deceived them into believing. OK, and this is why the Lord set up the prophets. This is why the Lord has us uh, has us out here. He poured out his spirit and, and you know, uh, uh, had us come out during this time, right? Woke us up during these last days to prophesy this because nobody else is associating what is going on currently in the world with biblical prophecy in the correct manner other than the prophets of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? Because the Lord said that he was going to raise up raise up the prophets. They were going to blow you the trumpet, sound the alarm, Right? We are we are basically laying out the uh, uh, red carpet for the return of the king of kings. For him to, to take dominion upon the earth and to give it uh, uh, to the, uh, the, the, the Israelites. All right. As it says in the Acts of first chapter, will you at this time restore the kingdom back into Israel? You see. So it says, according to the how to the White House. Readout of Biden's meeting with Boric, the pair discussed issues of shared concerns, including efforts to combat sea change. Biden also spoke last month about the need for a new world order. Why are they? Why is that now such a commonly term? You know, phrase. You know, before that was all taboo. You know, you said that and you're conspiracy theorists and this, this, and that. And, you know, tin foil hat. There's no such thing as a, a, a conspiracy against the new world. But now you got all these different leaders of all of these different uh, nations, either either Western nations and even on on, you know, Eastern nations, Russia, Iran. They're saying the same thing. Why are they all saying that? Because this order, this system, this world is about to pass away. But what they fail to realize is that. 
once this is done, there is no heathen coming up next. There is no Russia. There is no China. There is no Iran. There is no America being being built back better. Okay, there is none of that. It's it's the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Israel, point blank. Period. It says suggesting that while the post World War II system has functioned for decades, it has sort of run out of steam. However, if Americans are bold enough and have enough confidence in ourselves, which they don't, right? America does not have, these Americans have zero confidence in the leadership and the government of America, which is a, t a telltale sign of, of the end of, of Babylon, okay? It says, go back to what happened in Rome, all right? When Rome was at its end, you had uh, the actual citizens revolting against the, um, the government during that time. There's nothing new underneath the sun, as the scripture says. It says they will have an opportunity to unite the world in ways that it never has been, he insisted. What is that? That's that. Uh, let me get that scripture in the book of the book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 1. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? <laughs> why are the nation so angry? Why do they waste their time with futile plans? OK, they, they're wasting their time with these plans, man, because none of those plans. Yeah, actually, let's jump to four. It says he sitteth in the heavens. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. OK, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai and the angels and us, right, are all laughing because we set our affections on things above. We're all laughing at their at their plans and their rhetoric because. We understand and know that it's only the 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 uh, purpose and the will of Yahweh that is going to stand. All right, none of nothing that they they think in their minds, which the Lord gave them that and gave them up to that reprobate and that deceptive uh, mind, as the Scripture says, the deceive and the deceiver are his. None of those things that they believe, right? If the world you uh if uh to unite in the world. To, to unite the world in ways that has never been. None of those things are going to come to fruition. Okay. It's only going to be really what we are saying. And, and, and it's through uh, us us prophesying, as it says in 2 Thessalonians, who shall consume them with the spirit of his mouth. It's through the Lord giving us the spirit of, of his mouth to, and putting the words in our mouth, in our lips, that is bringing down this place, man. All right. And that's what this devil hates. And that's why ultimately he's going to come and persecute us because he's losing the uh, the information war. He he done he lost the the the, the spiritual war back when Yahushai did what he did, right, two thousand years ago, and and now he he the only thing he can resort to is the sword. And when he does that, the Lord going to lift up that standard. So hey, you losing in every single facet, man. You're done. You're finished. Finito. It says, however. I read that. It says, commenting on Biden's remark at the same time, Kremlin's president sec uh, press secretary, Dmitry Pes Peskov, described it as a rare moment when Moscow was in complete agreement with Washington. The world indeed needs a new order based on absolutely new principles. He noted, see, you, they both think they, uh, they're both heathens, right? And they're both Edomites. And as the Lord said, saying how it's being divided, it shall, it shall not stand, but it, but it comes to an end. Right. The Lord is playing on the minds of both of these kings on both of both sides, all for the purpose of what uh, of of his his children, starting with his son, but only begotten son, Yahweh to have dominion and, and authority in the earth. It says, however, Peskov suggested that Biden's Biden meant building a new order, a world order revolving around the U.S., insisting that that this will not be anymore. Right. As it says in Ezekiel, the Lord put the hooks into into um, the jaws of Gog and Magog. Right. So he's turning them to do what they're doing and, and being in the mindset that they're in. Russia has consistently called for a multilateral world order, which that's not going to happen. You're not going to have multiple different nations. The next the next system isn't going to be multiple nations ruling together. Um, oh, let me get that real quick. And I'm going to get to Daniel because that's really where it all comes down to. But 
let's get this here in the book of uh you know what i like the one in uh, micah micah chapter 4 verse 1 it says but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain the government of the house of yahweh which is the which is who the house of david right shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow into it see so it's not going to be multilateral it's not going to be oh we all got an equal say no <laughs> it's none of that man all right it's going to be the monarchy of yasharala israel uh revelation uh Let's go, what is that? Revelation chapter 5, verse um, 10, it says, And it hath made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And there's plenty of scriptures to back this point up, that, it, that the kingdom of heaven is not a multinational kingdom. It's the kingdom of Israel, being a rulership, establishing righteousness on the earth. All right, that's why... Uh, Revelation, the second chapter, it says that uh, verse 26, it says, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. And who is the one that's keeping the works of Yahweh, Yahweh shot? All right, because this is red letter. It's only his, the, the servants, the prophets and the saints and the ones that fear his name, small and great. That's it. Nobody else is keeping the works. All right. Of Yahweh shot. Nobody else is professing Yahweh shot. It says, to him will I give power over the nations. I will to them I will give authority over all the nations. And they and it says they will rule nations with a rod of uh with an iron rod and smash them like clay powder. They will have the same authority I received from my father, and I will also give them the morning star. So that's that's what it is, man. Okay? That's the that's the kingdom of heaven. That's the next rulership. And that rulership is not going to be for the next six to, six to eight decades. Nah, that's a, a world without end. Right? So uh, reading on, it says, um, Russia has consistently called for a multilateral world order with President Vladimir Putin accusing the West of a colonial approach and bending international rules to its will. Last month, the Russian leader also stressed that nobody has the right to control the world at the expense of others or in their name. Well, guess who does? Yahweh shot. Psalms, going back to Psalms 2 and 8, ask of me and I shall give you <laughs> the heathen for thy possession and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy inheritance. Right? Sirach 10 and 4, the, hand, the, 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 the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. Daniel's 2 and 44. In the days of these kings, would a God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, nor shall be given to, uh, uh, to another people? So, yeah, it, it, somebody does have the right. Yahweh Shai has the right. That's why when he arose, he says, what? Well, all power and glory has been given to me in heaven and in earth. That right belongs to Yahweh Shai. And, and that's why until he returns, there's going to be fighting. There's going to be discourse i mean uh uh this this uh um disarray in the earth because the prince of peace isn't ruling the king of kings is not an authority he is the only one that has a sole right to uh uh govern the, uh, the whole earth and he gave that uh that inheritance or he gave that authority also to his elect 144,000 as joint heirs that's what we talking about here man this is what we are speaking about. This is the gospel. This is the glory that we are, are patiently uh, patiently hoping for, right? The power of the world to come. See? So it says, relations between Washington and Moscow has sunk to unprecedented lows due to Ukraine conflict in the U.S. with the U.S. sending billions of dollars worth of weapons to Kiev and imposing tough sanctions on Russia. All right, so yeah, that's basically uh, pretty much you know they just they just summing up why we're at this point in in in, in the world where uh, <laughs> the old systems is done and, and now they're trying to vie for a new world order. That's what the last two paragraphs is basically speaking about because they talk about China as well, right? So when we go into Daniel, we'll get that and we'll end it with that. Daniel 
the seventh chapter, right? Uh, on um, the vision that um, Belchazar, not Belchazar, uh, the division that Daniel had, all right, of the four beasts, which was, you know, synonymous to the vision that Nebuchadnezzar had of the uh, statue. But the fourth beast, which is the Roman Empire, when you go into it in verse 8, it says, And I considered the horns, right, which were the, the, the ten horns, which represented the, you know, the ten vassal states back during the time of the Roman Empire and Rome being rebuilt, as it says in Revelation, the 13th chapter, the uh, first beast uh, who had a deadly wound was healed. Then there came a second beast that exercised all the power of the first beast, right? The prophets and the disciples, the apostles, they all seen the same thing. And now when it's this time where through the uh, that, that Holy Spirit, the Lord waking us, waking those prophets up at the end. Now everything is being connected. It says, I considered the horns and behold, there came up among them a little horn before whom there were three horns, three of the first horns plucked up by the roots, which those uh, that little horn is speaking about America. Those three horns that were plucked up was the French, the British and the Spanish. All right, you had to, uh, you know, the, the that's how America was um, was given its uh, power by, you know, basically the Americans, the you know, the, the thirteen colonies, them going to war over this land, right? To get take it from the British, take the the you know the part that the British owned, take the part that the French owned and the Spanish owned. So it says, and behold, in Salaki it says, and behold. In this horn were eyes like the eyes of man and a mouth speaking great uh, things, right? Because this kingdom, all right, this beast, or this, you know, uh, basically was of, of man, all right? And, that, and the man specifically was who? The Edomite man. Esau Edom being the end of the world. Verse 9, I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head were like the pure wool. Okay, he had a, 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 a afro. <laughs> his throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. All right, that you know this chariot, and a fiery stream is issued forth, and came forth from before him. Thousands and thousands ministered unto him, and tens of thousands times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened. And I I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake. I beheld even till the beast was slain. You see? So that beast is the uh the uh, um the Roman Empire reloaded. Okay? I always say reloaded, but the Roman Empire coming back into power through the, the, the time period of the Renaissance, which we know means rebirth, okay, and them exercising and them basically putting the Roman infrastructure and Roman ideologies and the Roman uh, ways back on the earth through the through uh, the NATO and the EU and 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 its uh, concepts. All right, so it says, and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame, which is by way of what the 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 war, okay, the nuclear fire. And as concerning the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. Right, because these other nations, they they're not gonna have dominion. All right, <laughs> they're not gonna uh, have any any rulership in the earth when this uh, World War Three is uh, uh, finished. Verse uh, thirteen: I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him, and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom. That all people, nations, and languages shall serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away in his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. See that? So after this fourth beast, and you know, which the little horn uh, came forth from that fourth beast, which once again is um, uh, likened to the second beast in Revelation, the 13th chapter, that uh uh who's the first beast whose deadly wound was healed after that kingdom uh um is is taken out yahawashai which is the one that's likened to the son, the son of man 
His kingdom is the kingdom that's going to be established and set up. And that kingdom and that dominion is going to be on the earth forever. So what he's talking about is nothing but vain, vain, vanity words, vain words. But the point is they see what's going on and they understand that the system that they set up back during post-World War II, because that's when you had the, uh, you know, uh, the 48ers went into that land, right? You had the um, uh, Federal Reserve set up. OK, Russia and, 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 and uh, what they call the axis. I forgot what they're called. They call them the axis of evil, something to that effect. They were all put down for a moment. And you see, you know, in, in, in the westernized uh, life, uh, uh, basically took control over the whole entire earth. The beast could took control over the whole entire earth. But that was only for a short moment, about only about 75 years or so. So here we are where that system is, is going out, is running out of steam. And now they're saying that we got to basically th there's a new war that has to happen in order to set up a new system. But it's going to be during because of that war that Esau Edom's uh, rulership, his his power, his dominion is going to be taken out because Yahweh Shai is going to come and make his appearance and make war with the nations. As it says in Revelation in the 19th chapter, in righteousness, do if he judge and make war and he's going to smite the nations. You see, so, you know, we living in definitely some exciting times and, and, and being able to understand and know what's going on, you know, is imperative. OK, because it's the ones who know what is happening and why it's happening. Those are the ones that's going to be stable in, in these times pursuant to Isaiah, the 33rd chapter. So, you know, with that, Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect, giving all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.